This is a great session from uh, our friends and partner, uh, Ada, and I'd like to bring out on stage Ruth Zive. <laughs> Hey everyone, I am Ruth Zive. I head, up a I head up marketing at a company called Ada. Uh, we're a Zendesk partner, and with our platform side by side, we offer the most winning formula for fabulous customer support. Um, I know it's late in the day, so I'm gonna try to be extra cute and engaging to hold your attention. I think it's, I'm standing in the way of you and happy hour or something. So I wanna flip the idea of customer support a little bit on its head, and what we're gonna talk about today is how an automation first strategy versus a human first strategy really makes more sense and drives better results for your business in so many respects. But before I jump into that topic, I just wanna level set on the state of affairs in the world of customer support because it's kind of broken. Um, more than 80% of companies, and this is according to Bain, believe that they are delivering phenomenal customer service but less than 8% of customers actually believe that they're getting great customer service. So there's a pretty monumental disconnect there. And yet companies continue to throw billions and billions of dollars at this human first support model. It, it's not working. Customers aren't coming back and saying, yes, we are having our needs met. Um, and then you add fuel to the fire because you've got these human live agents, live support resources that are totally overwhelmed, inundated, with rote, repetitive inquiries all day long, so you see a pretty high measure of turnover inside of your customer support organization. Not surprisingly, a lot of companies are turning to AI to try and solve this problem, but here's the thing. AI, and chatbots in particular, which is where we play, should not be a point solution or an add-on to augment a human-first support model. Automation should really underpin or front end your broader support strategy. And at Ada, our point of view is that you should always automate first if you want to optimize your investment in human support. And that's really why we marry so well with Zendesk, because great automation first delivers even greater live agent support. So here's what an automation first strategy delivers with a little bit more detail. First of all, it lowers costs. It's absurd to throw money at human support first when more than 70% of inquiries can be automated. That's, what our, that's the return that our customers realize. They're automating more than 70% of their inquiries. Automation improves customer uh, satisfaction rates because when you reduce wait times to get to a live agent, and when that live agent is available to deal with super mission critical inquiries and high churn scenarios, your customers are just a lot happier. And then lastly, automation first allows your live agents, because they have more bandwidth, to upsell and cross-sell, thereby driving revenue and transforming your support organization from a cost center to a profit center, which frankly is the holy grail for a lot of businesses who are sick and tired of throwing money at these problems. So I'm gonna bring a customer out in a moment to share the success that they've re realized with an automation first strategy, but let me just spend one moment telling you what is ADA. We are the leader in automated customer service, or ACX as we call it. And as I mentioned, our AI chatbot platform drives an automation first strategy and frees your lives resources to have more meaningful impact. And our customers are realizing unbelievable results. In just a couple of years, we've automated more than 50 million conversations, and we've saved our customers more than $100 million. So I think that some of you have seen this video. Before I call out uh, our customer to share their story, I'm just gonna play it for those of you that haven't seen it. We did this, this commercial a few months ago, and it really, I think, drives home the absurdity of leading with a human-first strategy for things that can be so easily automated. So I'm really thrilled to have with me today uh, Joe Wang from Upwork. Joe is the Senior Director of Customer Experience there. They're one of our favorite customers, primarily because they've 
wholeheartedly embraced an automation first strategy. They understand how to use their humans wisely to really deliver unbelievable results. So I'd like to call Joe out to join me now on stage. So Joe, why don't you tell us a little bit about Upwork? Yeah, for those who don't know, Upwork is the largest freelancing platform in the world. Uh, we processed about $1.7 billion last year, and we actually went IPO last year, so that was great. Uh, my job at Upwork is really to make sure that for every touch point the user might have with Upwork, they are always getting the best experience, including product experience, including self-service experience, including their support experience as well. Great. Okay, so let's jump into some of these questions. Talk to me a little bit about the challenges you were facing when you just, before you decided to introduce an automation first strategy. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, we went IPO last year and the business had been doing going strong. The problem that I have though is I cannot catch up with how fast the, the company grow. So I need to figure out something to help me scale. I need to figure out something that bring me out of this continuous hiring and onboarding users and not, like, not able to meet the customer's need in this sure. kind of situation. And that's why we really adopt, uh, we really want to adopt this automation first uh, strategy to help us scale and to help us improve our customer experience. Great. So can you share a little bit about how you actually did that practically? Once you decided to pull the trigger, how did you roll out ADA and an automation first approach? Yeah, it's really a, it's really a partnership between uh, well, among Upwork, ADA, and Zendesk. Uh, I got the content of, of, of Ruth from, from my contacts uh, in Zendesk. Uh, cool. They told me to reach out to them. I was like, sure, well, you guys have great integration. That's, that's exactly what we need since pretty much all of our support is on Zendesk. Uh, so after we get the contact, it's really breaking, I can really break down this whole implementation into several phases. The first one is to identify the opportunity. We're not trying to solve everything. We're not trying to automate everything. We're trying to really figure out what makes sense. What is the, the thing, the, the five key things that you want to automate? And once we identified those five key elements, we started working with Ada to figure out how we can implement it in the AI solution to make sure that it, it works with the AI, first of all, but also it makes sense with the customers. And luckily, you guys share a lot of best practices with us, so that was great. The third one is really, after we, after we implement those decision trees that we set uh, and we, we put it out on our, our help center, it's really about iteration. It's really about improving, continue to improve this whole experience to make sure that the, uh, the bot is answering correctly, but also you want to look at how users interact with the bot uh, to understand how you want to iterate your answers. Sure. And of course, our product continue to improve, so we also have to continue to improve our answers as well so that it doesn't get outdated. Uh, the last stage is really continue to explore the new technologies and features as well. A couple of examples, right? Right now, we are figuring out how we can better leverage API calls to personalize this experience. So when a customer, for example, have issue with payment on our platform, as soon as they got to ADA, they know, we know that they have issues with payment already. We don't have to wait till this user tells us. And the second one they were exploring is a new features that ADA recently has with uh, Zendesk Chat called ADA Glass. So it's an integration between ADA as well as in, uh, Zendesk Chat. So when users interact with the bot, they can, if they really need someone to help them, they can switch to the human support right away. Seamlessly. Right, yeah. seamlessly. And then as soon as the human needs is not needed anymore, they can switch back to the, the bot. Uh, we are still on the progress of implementation right now, uh, but we're pretty excited about that. Great, we're excited too. So one of the most compelling things about an automation first strategy is that it enhances the experience of the live agent. Right. Um, can you talk to me about how that's the case at Upwork? People actually hated it at the beginning. <laughs> Don't I tell remember, me that. <laughs> no, I remember back to when I was a consultant. I, I went to my new client's office. They all look at me like I'm their enemy. I'm there to take over their job. <laughs> That's exactly what our agent felt at the beginning. 
However, over time, what they found is ADA started to take, a lot, take away a lot of those repetitive work from them. Uh, and our agents are really able to really focus on things that, that, they, that really bring value to the company and to the clients. And also because we no longer have to spend a lot of efforts onboarding new agents, we are switching those efforts to upscaling our agents right now. Cool. So our agents are also becoming more and more capable in uh, handling all those uh, difficult cases. So they now actually love it. Awesome. And we actually just recently did a, did a uh, we call it an MPS MP survey among our, our agents. And right now it's at 80%, which is the yes. highest ever uh, that we can see. And our voluntary attrition among our agents is at 3%, which wow. is also the lowest I've ever seen in my career. That's amazing. So aside from agent satisfaction, what are some of the other business results that you've realized with Ada? Yeah, so in the past few years, uh, our work has been growing, uh, but our volume actually has been flat. Uh, and I believe a part of it is because of Ada, it's because of those AI approach. Uh, we, we look at of, of all those sessions that go to our help center, how many ended up creating a ticket? and we have seen a 75% decrease wow. in, in, in the percentage. So definitely a lot of potential cost saving there. Uh, and again, uh, we are upscaling our customers, uh, customer support agents, so they are able to provide better support to our customers now. So as a result, our CSA actually, even though all those easy questions uh, that easily we can get great CSA has been taken away, our CSA has been pretty flat in the, past, uh, in the past couple of years after we adopt ADA. So that's great as well. Absolutely. And another thing that we found is people who ask simple questions are normally people who with low value. They're not engaging with our platform at all. So we're spending so much effort on those eight customers in the past. Now we really are able to focus our efforts on those customers with higher value who ask much more difficult and complex and personalized questions. That's amazing. So thank you for sharing your story with everyone today. You're welcome. Um, I'm really thrilled that today I'm able to offer everyone participating at the Zendesk Showcase uh, a very exclusive free trial opportunity. We've never done this before at Ada. Um, so you can visit the URL that's up on the slide or we have a booth just by the front entrance to the conference and uh, we will uh, do our best to get you into a free trial as quickly as possible for three weeks and you can actually experience firsthand what this looks like and how it works and the value that it represents. So thank you all for having us today. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.